So, your loving heart can't choose between a Yorkie and a pug? Both are affectionate and demanding small dogs, known for their stubborn temperament, but the choice is so hard. In this video, we will discuss some basic information like temperament, grooming, health issues, intelligence, trainability, and a few more things about the Yorkie and pug breeds. We hope this will assist you to form your choice on the Yorkshire Terrier and Pug. If you own either a Yorkie or a Pug, let us know in the comments below which one you favour the most and why. Grooming Let us start with grooming. Pugs and Yorkies have very different grooming needs. Pugs, for instance, have a short coat which requires minimal grooming, but owners of this dog need to keep in mind that though their pugs have short hair, they shed a lot, so brushing their hair on a daily basis is recommended. Yorkies, on the other hand, have an extended, flowing coat that resembles human hair. Yorkies don't shed much, but owners of this breed have got to brush their coats at least once a day if your dog has a long coat and every two days if it has shorter hair to take away mats and tangles. Exercise Yorkies and pugs both need short walks and lots of play times a day to remain healthy. Yorkies, given an opportunity, enjoy being active and be great companion for pets for active owners. Pugs, on the other hand, are less active and are best for inactive owners. Yorkies can be very hyper that's why they don't need as much exercise as the pug. Short walks and playtime are usually the best exercises for pugs because they tend to be adventurous and energetic for short intervals. Health issues. Yorkies are susceptible to low blood glucose, collapsed trachea and heart conditions. Pugs, on the other hand, may suffer from skin issues and eye disorders. Pugs also are brachycephalic, which may translate into breathing problems related to the pug breed. Owners of pugs need to keep their tiny pets with a big appetite at a healthy weight because they can easily get overweight and therefore the extra weight can negatively affect the dog's, the dog's overall health. Temperament Both breeds are playful and sociable dogs and enjoy spending time with their owners. These little dogs like to be included in family activities. Pugs are very affectionate, cheerful and playful breeds, whereas Yorkies are energetic, playful and very independent. Yorkies are quick to learn, but are often obstinate. Find out what drives your Yorkie or pug, then when you train your pet, it will be much easier. Good with kids. Which are more suitable for families with children, pugs or Yorkies? Yorkies aren't recommended for little children. These tiny dogs are too fragile and are overprotective of their toys and food. Since Yorkies are quite playful, they can make good companions for older kids. Pugs, as compared, are more tolerant and sturdier than Yorkies and make a far better choice for families with kids. Children need to know how to properly handle a dog. Teach them that dogs aren't toys and deserve reason to never approach a sleeping dog or a dog that is eating. Lifespan Yorkshire Terriers are long-lived small dogs. Yorkies live slightly longer than pugs and therefore the average Yorkie expectancy is from 13 to 16 years. Pugs usually live up to 12 to 15 years. A dog's life expectancy depends on many factors including the breed's size, overall health, care and lifestyle. So with the proper care and diet you can expect your pet to live a very long and healthy life. Size Yorkies are significantly smaller in size than pugs. Pugs are almost twice as tall and twice as heavy as the tiny Yorkshire Terrier. A male pug's weight varies from 13 to 20 pounds and a male Yorkie's weight varies from 5 to 7 pounds. The average male pug height is 12 to 14 inches and the average male Yorkie height is 6 to 8 inches. Trainability Pugs are intelligent but not easily trainable dogs. They get easily distracted. They are often stubborn and challenging, but they are trainable. Yorkies, on the other hand, could be easier to train, but they're also stubborn and do not always prefer to obey commands. Obedience training is always the best at first. Both Yorkie and pug puppies are more flexible and not as set in their ways, which makes them easier to coach than adult dogs. 
finding the proper motivation is extremely important during training. Barking. Pugs are quiet dogs, unlike the Yorkie. Terriers like the Yorkie enjoy being loud and may bark for several reasons. A number of the reasons why dogs bark may include being surprised or when they hear or see something unusual. Yorkies have an instinct to bark. They are filled with spirit and may be enthusiastic watchdogs that will bark at strangers. Pugs, on the other hand, are too social and employment as a watchdog. However, most of them will bark when they hear noises, but pugs aren't likely to bark at approaching strangers. Companion dogs. Yorkies and pugs are great pets for families with older kids single people and retirees who want an affectionate and fun animal companion. Yorkies are high maintenance when it involves grooming and need an owner who enjoys grooming the dog. Pugs are low maintenance dogs and don't need that much grooming. These dogs need to be around their family most of the time. Both these breeds are not suitable for working people that only have an hour or two to spare during the day for their pets. 